All right, this time I'm going to look at this poem called Readability CLI. And the description is Firefox reader view in your terminal. Basically, what that means is that it will strip away like these, um, you know, HTML tags that is bloated and unnecessary, like ads or maybe, um, you know, links that you don't care about. You just want to go to the contents of, you know, the website. And that's about it, right? So that's what this program does really well. Um, stick around towards the end. I'll show you how I personally use it with W3M. Really cool on the fly. But I'll show you how to set up at the end here. But as far as the program itself, uh, how to use this from the terminal here. So, um, well, the package name is called Readability CLI. But the uh, program itself is called Readable. Not sure what the issue with that is, but uh, that's the way it is here. Uh, they give you some examples how to use this here. Really simple. Uh, they give you a website here. And I'll show you this website in the GUI just so you can see it here, right? GUI here. And so this is the site here. And as soon as you go down, guess what? You gotta like sign in, uh, or they make you sign in to uh, your social media or sign up or whatever it is. Really annoying, right? Um, one way to bypass that, you can actually use uh, W3M. And W3M is a command line web browser uh, or a terminal web browser. And you see here, this is what it looks like. Uh, they do have a bunch of, you know, fluff up here with, um, you know, unnecessary links that you don't need, especially if you just want to read the, just the, um, the main content of it. And at the bottom here, it has a bunch of these links that uh, we don't care about either, right? So that's how it looks like in a um, GUI in a uh, terminal web browser, okay? Now, uh, we're going to actually use the program to strip it out, right? So this is the program. It's just called Readable, and we'll put in the same URL here. And if we do this by itself, and we're not piping into any, um, you know, type of page or anything like that. It will output into your terminal, and your terminal is not a HTML view or anything. It's just a plain text uh, dump here, and so that's why it looks like this, right? So that's why they give you an example of why you want to use um, W3M here, and the W3M it's a web browser, so it, it can actually render, um, you know, HTML and stuff like that. So that's why we're doing uh, the dash T flag there, right? Dash T. Uh, text slash HTML here uh, for our type and you can see now it renders it uh, like we did before on our the, the main page but it will get rid of all these uh, unnecessary links like at the bottom or at the top and now we just have like a much cleaner um, you know article of just the title and, and you know the uh, body of it you know the, the main stuff that uh, when you're surfing that's what you want to look at right uh, so that's what uh, it does from your terminal here. They do have some other flags that you can do. So if I do uh, readable dash H here, uh, you can see that uh, they have this thing called dash P for properties, right? And these are the properties that you can use here. The main one I'll probably you say you, you want to use is just the HTML title and the HTML content. Um, the text stuff like this, um, I probably wouldn't recommend it unless you have like a specific purpose, but it'll, I'll put it to plain text. It uh, doesn't look as pretty because it's just like uh, no formatting or nothing like that, so I probably wouldn't recommend that. Only recommend you do um, the HTML, you know, um, properties here. So I'll show you how that looks like here. What was that one here? So this is our command here. And um, the ones that we want to use, what was that here? We'll go back. As we want to do a dash p flag, and we want to do uh, the title, comma. Uh, what was the one here? HTML content. That's personally what I I recommend you use. Just those two only for the properties, if at all. Um, and then you output it here. And there we go. It looks pretty much the same as the other one, but uh, I'll show you some more examples later on here. 
but yeah that's usually what i would use uh i personally don't use it like you know straight from the terminal like this because it's a waste of time like i have to copy each link and then paste it in even if i was doing this as an alias or a function it would just take too much time uh to open like another you know or switch to a different tab and then um pasting the url or pasting my commands or whatever it is uh waste of time right so i'll show you how i use it with w3m itself um because you know i've used w3m for a long time now anyways how do you this uh, how do you use this here so let's bust out my uh w3m web browser here so let's say if i do um or do like google.com or something like that all right and if i uh open like another page here let's say um, hacker news because they have a bunch of, of these uh, websites they post every day so this is hacker news website here all right and if I open one of them uh, let's let's find one that's like really bad uh, this one looks okay we don't want to do that one how about this one here okay Tiffany's uh, this one looks okay too let's find um, docker here let's this one okay this one looks horrible look at this it has like these um uh i don't know a bunch of these you know uh, was it links header links right and then you finally get to uh line 38 here you finally get to like i guess the title of it and then you have the contents here let's see at the bottom let's see what they got the bottom here we have a bunch of more links you know some copyright stuff at the bottom bunch of useless stuff that we don't care about uh, especially when you're looking at this um, in the terminal and you want to navigate really quick you can't right you, you just want to get to the content you can't do that well all you gotta do is hit my high key which let me show you here it's uh, leader R so I hit leader R here it will actually uh, use our readability program it will strip out all the stuff and look at that this is our uh, stripped version of the original one so the original one here how many lines is that 200 lines right and our stripped one it's 75 lines wow look at that 75 lines and we can still get the content really quick and it's clean and you know that's what it looks like when uh, you, you're doing this uh, on the fly right we don't have to actually you know bust out another terminal type in our you know readability command Imagine you have to do that like 10 or 20 times. It gets really old really quick. So if, if you're using this just straight from uh, W3M itself, you know, all you do is hit a hotkey and it will actually um, uh, download it, strip it, and then uh, put it back into our tab. And that's how we review it here really quick. So this is uh, the original. Like I said, this is the original. You can see it here, right? Uh, barely on line 38 that's where we get the title but look at this this is the our updated one or our stripped one and it looks way cleaner right uh, and I can do that like you know on any of these other uh, websites now as far as the program itself you know I'll probably say 90% of the time it does its job really well but it's not perfect all right so there you go but let's say I open another link here okay this one looks bad too look at it, it has all these uh, you know header um, links that we don't care about so if i hit my uh, uh high key which is uh leader r it strips it using the readable program and look at that it looks nice and clean now all right and so this is the original let me go down to wow that's like two or three pages barely just to get to um you know uh the article here which is uh what is this here using your phone where's that part at where's that using your phone Oh wow, it's down here. Wow. Not even up there. It's just down here. On line uh what was that 176? Wow, all the way there. Unbelievable. What a shitty website. But there you go. That's how you uh use this uh program uh with using our hotkey. And now let me show you how to set it up here. Alright. So let's bust out our uh bindings. So make sure you go open up your W3M key map um, file. 
if you're a WDM user, you should know about that. But uh, really simple, we just want to make a key binding. And we're using our um, command, uh, uh, I guess, built-in command. And from there, we want it to use shell because we want to use that, uh, uh, what was it, uh, our readable program. And um, we're passing the URL here. This is like a built-in variable that you can use for the current uh, uh, URL of W3M. And then we're using those flags that we use, um, you know, in our shell that we used before I just showed you. So we, we want to use uh, uh, the properties of HTML title and HTML content, and we're dumping it uh, into a uh, temporary file called readable HTML. And from there, uh, we're going to load it back into that same tab, right? And I'll read it here. So whenever I do this, uh, let me uh, exit out of this here. So whenever we're doing this here, we're using it on the same tab. So if I open this here again, uh, well, this one looks clean. I don't want to use that one. Where's the one that looks trash? Okay, this one doesn't even work because it's no Java. But uh, let's see here, another one. Okay, right, let's say this one here. We'll do a uh, leader R. So as soon as I hit leader R, you can see that it's downloading it and it's processing it, right? And then once you're done, just hit uh, any key really. But you see now we have this readable HTML here, and that's where it's reading here. It's reading in the same buffer, right? So I can go previous forward and I can switch between uh, the original one here so this is the original one you can see here same article right challenge to scientists and here you go challenge to scientists and there you go that's how I would uh, you know uh, get the readable now if you want it uh, in a different tab uh, I'll show you how to do that too here but if you want to do a different tab we can do uh, the same command really but uh, all you gotta do is type in, you know, new tab. What's that? New tab. And then semicolon. And that's it. And then we'll save it here. We'll write it out. We'll save it. And let me reload um, the configurations here. Reload. Okay. So now if I do it on a different one, let's see. Uh, let's find one that's like super trashy. Like this one. Does it work? Let's do uh, leader R. And well, this one is kind of trash too. Look at this. I uh, didn't output the results like I said that we wanted. They still have all these links. So like I said, it's not super perfect, uh, but 90% of the time it is. So let's find another one so we can actually do it properly. Uh, what is this one here? Okay. Okay, this one looks like crap too. We'll do this one here. But yeah, look at this one. This one looks uh, way cleaner. So this is the original one here, right? Uh, well, this is the original one here, but you see now it, it opens up a uh, different tab for it. So this is the original one on this tab, and our new tab is this one here, right? Readable, and you can switch between them if you want. So here we go. If you don't want it on the same tab, then you can actually uh, open it on a new tab. So you can do this for multiple sites. So let's say, for example, this vitamin D one here. If I do it again. Um, what the hell was that one? So this is uh, the vitamin D one here. Um, you can see that this is the original. And if I switch to this one here, this is the readability or readable uh, HTML. So you can see uh, we have a tab here, although it doesn't have a name. I don't know sure what happened, but uh, this one is the one uh, for that that we just generated. Let's uh, reload this here. Yeah, there's no name because... Uh, I'm not sure why it's not rendering the, the tab name here. But there you go. That's how you have different tabs. If you want it to have different tabs, there you go. Um, but generally, I don't really need another tab. I just like to have it on the same tab. And uh, so that's it. Uh, let's reload this here. So if I uh, close this here. And, you know. Generally, that's that's how I uh, navigate. I just go to a different uh, URL, and I can just hit my hotkey if I needed to. Some si some sites you don't actually need to, but uh, generally, if you need to, this is what it looks like. Real simple, right? Anyways, that's how I set it up with W3M, and it works on any site. 
uh, probably say 90%. I haven't used it too long, but uh, this is like a good, uh, I'll call it an extension for our um, W3M. Anyways, if you're really good uh, or you're a really big uh, W3M fan, definitely check out this uh, utility. I mean, it's not like super great uh, using it by itself because, I mean, who, who really wants to uh, open a new terminal, pasting our uh, commands for it, and then like, you know, read it. It's just uh, annoying. But if you do it like I do it uh, dynamically and on the fly, um, it's really convenient whenever you need to, right? That'd be for this one.